Good evening, listen, welcome back to Beyond the Bush here. Here we have Jack Rubenkonig, who works for Outdoor Recreation. He will just describe how the experience has shaped him as a person. So Jack, thank you for being on the show. Thanks, Christian. So, what do you do on Outdoor Recreation? Well, as an Outdoor Recreation guide, um, I lead at least two trips every semester. Um, however, in addition to that, I'm also the Outdoor Recreation Gear Manager. Uh, in that capacity, I'm in charge of our equipment and gear managing program. We, as a program, rent out gear to Lutz at heavily discounted rates and offer this service to uh, staff as well as faculty. Okay, so you say you, you lead two trips. How many trips are there for outdoor recreation on you know, a monthly to semesterly basis? Well, Outdoor Rec prides itself on being able to offer a trip every weekend. Now, uh, in addition to that, we also lead some overnight trips. Most of our trips, though, are trips that are done on a daily basis. Um, that is, we go out and go on day hikes or uh, anywhere within two to three hours of PLU's campus. Okay. Um, so I heard you guys went on a spring break trip to... Utah or Arizona? How, tell me about that. Yeah, that's correct. Um, Outdoor Rec also leads a spring break trip uh, every year, and this year we went to Utah as well as uh, Arizona's Grand Canyon. Um, in this trip, we uh, went to the Canyonlands National Park as well as the Grand Canyon, um, and this trip was eight days long and included driving in uh, the PLU fleet vans all the way from PLU's campus down to Moab, Utah. So how was that drive? It was long and very extensive. Um, it was great though to have uh, several different drivers swapping out, um, <laughs> swapping out the driving duties. Okay, so how was the trip in general outside of spending at national parks? Like, did you camp? Did you stay in a hotel or? Oh, well, we're outdoor recreation, so we spent all of our time outdoors. The exception of that was the first night of our road trip where we were staying at a local Lutheran church. Okay, yeah. so you partner with trips that are close to where you go to kind of find a spot to stay if you can't have anything outdoors or? Yeah, that's correct. Um, part of the uh, outdoor Rec uh, motto is safety first, and it's uh, a little dangerous for us to go on extended driving trips uh, like the one from PLU to Utah. So we decided to stay overnight at a Lutheran church and then make the rest of the trip in the morning. Okay, so how was the camping portion of it since it is outdoor recreation? How did people that don't normally go outdoors fare being outdoors? Well, it wasn't a very extensive or, I guess you could say, extreme uh, outdoor recreation trip. We were staying in national parks at established campsites, um, and we were staying in very comfortable five-man tents. So as far as camping experiences go, it was pretty comfortable. Okay. So back to the fact that you have weekend trips, mm -hmm. what's kind of the process of going on one of these trips? So say I was interested in going outdoors for a weekend, how would, how would I go about doing that? It's a great question. Outdoor Rec tables um, every week uh, from Monday through Friday, sorry, Monday through Thursday in the UC from 5.30 to 6.30. You can see us out there wearing big goofy grins and next to our sign as you leave the commons area. Okay, so when's your next trip? Personally, I'm guiding a trip May 11th uh, going kayaking from Point Defiance. However, the program's next trip is this upcoming weekend. Um, unfortunately, it's already been filled, but the weekend after that, we are going on a mystery trip. Oh, so do we get a little hint of what the mystery trip is, or? Unfortunately, no, that's why it's a mystery. However, we expect interest for this trip to be at an all-time high. It comes with an early morning start and plans to be a day full of excitement and adventure. Okay, okay. So, having the opportunity to go on all these trips with outdoor recreation, what's the one thing you can take out of it that potentially gives you an experience that nobody else could have, could have had being an outdoor rec guide? Well, a lot of students at PLU don't really realize that within two hours of campus, 
there are so many outdoor experiences to be had. Uh, as an outdoor rec guide, I've been blessed with the opportunity to see those experience, see and experience all of the sites that Western Washington has to offer. So for me, the thing that I'll take away the most from the outdoor rec experience will be sharing my love of the outdoors with those who may not have known that we had such beautiful things really in our backyard. Okay, so the next trips, your next trip that you're hosting is May 11th. The next trip for outdoor rec that's not full is April 10th. April 20th. 20th, 20th, okay. Gotta remember that next time. All right, so what, what grade are you in? I'm a graduating senior. Oh, so you're gonna be leaving outdoor recreation forever? Forever and ever. But okay. hopefully I'd like to come back as an alumni. Oh, because is, how's the process for that go? Well, our trips are open to not only students, but also staff, faculty, and alumni. Mm -hmm. So maybe every once in a while, I'll be able to come back and take part in a trip as, uh, not as a leader, but as a trip member. Okay, so the million dollar question, how much does it cost usually? Since we're broke college kids and frankly we don't have money. Well, the great thing about Outdoor Rec is everything is done on a college student's budget. Now, we factor in driving you to the destination. We uh, use the PLU fleet vans. Uh, we also feed you an Outdoor Rec lunch made by your guides. And we also take you out hiking and uh, go through the whole outdoor experience. This all usually takes uh, only $15 for us to put together for you. Um, however, on some of our overnight trips, uh, in this semester we are doing two overnight trips, bouldering and rock climbing, uh, and those will run you $30 for an overnighter. Um, unfortunately, kayaking, the trip that I'm doing in May, is going to be a little more expensive. It's going to cost you $20 to go kayaking with me. But as an experience in uh, the outdoors, $15 to $20 is relatively inexpensive. Okay. That's all for Nets Beyond the Brochure. If you'd like more information about outdoor recreation, go to www.plu.edu slash outdoor recreation. For all of us here at News at Nine, I'm Christian Dilworth. This is Jack Rubenkonig. Good night.